Hi, welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the power method for determining eigenvalues and eigenvectors in MATLAB. So, the eigenvalue is a characteristic root that can be used for linear transformations and the eigenvector is the corresponding vector with the along with the eigenvalue so the power method works by um, multiplying the given matrix and by the way uh, the matrix should be square so number of rows is equal to the number of columns so going back moving on the power method works by multiplying a matrix with an initial eigenvector guess and then uh, normalizing the resulting vector by getting the largest one and and factoring it out from the vector so that would be the that would be the next vector for the next uh, iteration and we check the approximate error with the tolerance and as well as the percent error of the vector itself when we meet the the tolerance or the relative error we stop so let's code this So now we're done coding our function. So we have simple underscore power with the arguments a and tall. a is a square matrix and the tall is our tolerance or relative error that we accept. Then first we initialized a column vector for our initial guess. A good start is using ones using a column vector of ones for our initial eigenvector then r here is our eigenvalue so then we start the algorithm so we get the old values of uh, the eigenvalue and the eigenvector and then we multiply the matrix with the eigenvector so for iteration one that would be uh, the matrix times uh, column vector of ones so whatever length it is it will adapt whatever dimension so let's say four by four we will have uh, Four, or yeah, four by one uh, column vector. So yeah, so this will result into a column vector. So this will be our basis for getting the first eigenvalue for the first iteration. So we get the maximum among the values um, among the column vector then we divide the the resulting vector in with uh, this uh, maximum value to normalize the vector so this vector here we're going to use this for the next iteration and as well 
as the previous R. The computed R here. So, as always, since this is an iterative method, we compute for the approximate error. And then, uh, compare the approximate error with our tolerance as well as our normalized vector. We compare errors with our uh, eigenvector with the tolerance. So there. That's how the uh, algorithm works. So this, this here will uh, terminate the algorithm if it's met. Okay, so we have print stuff here. Okay, let's test the algorithm. Let's test our function here. So I created a script called pm underscore test. So here is our sample square matrix. And our tolerance, let's say, after four decimal places. Okay. Let's run PM test. Oh. We forgot something. We forgot the size of the matrix. Yes. We forgot to include the size of the matrix. Yeah, because that will determine the number of or the size of our column vector for the initial eigenvalue. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay. Mistype errors. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. There. So, for a tolerance of up to four decimal places, uh, here's what we got. So, as we can see here, uh, it's close with the results of the method in MATLAB, the egg method in MATLAB. So we got 62.055 in 42 iterations for this tolerance. If we make this smaller we can get some more convergence okay so as we can see it's close so 62.0555 and for our eig of a here the largest is 62.0555 so I think we got the correct results and therefore our algorithm here is correct so this is the associated eigenvector with this eigenvalue so yeah there you have it mm -hmm. now Okay, we're done with one. We validated the answer using the function i of a. Yes, we came up with the same answer. Almost the same answer. There. The next. Um, what could probably be the source of errors for your algorithm to diverge? Hmm... Um, I couldn't really think of any right now.
So I think that's it for this video. So we got our eigenvalue and eigenvector correctly. So to conclude, we we took a look at the power method for determining eigenvalues and eigenvectors using MATLAB. So I think that's all for now and if you learned something please like share and subscribe and if you have a better um, way of implementing this in MATLAB please comment it down below and that's all. I hope that you have a great day today. Bye for now.